Hey folks, I'm Philippi, and welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing the Imperial Bahamutian Democracy in the new uh, Machine Age DLC, and we are independent now, and we are going to turn our eyes towards maybe gaining some subjects, maybe taking some land. We'll see. We're sort of boxed into this one corner of the, uh, the universe here because of the spiral pattern. We're at the base of one spiral around the galactic core here, and... Uh, we're sort of boxed in. We've taken over our Overlord's territory, which is this here. Maybe I'll take over a little bit more. I could eliminate these guys entirely, which wouldn't be too hard to do, and I might do that, and I might subjugate someone else. Or subjugate them, maybe, and move this way. We'll see, we'll see. Let's take a look at my claims. I do oh, this. Do I have claims? Yeah, I have a claim here and I have a claim there. Let's clean up my space. Uh, let's grab a claim here and here and here as well. Let I clean up this. This will be that little corner world. This will give me much more space over here. Give me another world. Give me access to another gateway. Uh, I will probably end up claiming this for 84 when we have enough as well, because it's sort of on its own. And then, you over here, I will probably make you a subject. I wanted to declare war. Yeah, I could just vassalize right off the bat, so maybe I'll do that. I'll declare war on these guys to vassalize. And work on these claims. So first, I'm going to make sure these worlds are safe. We're going to upgrade our ships once. One round, once this is done, uh, I will do that. The Shipyards and Fleet Academy. Uh, this one I can already do, so why don't I have you upgrade right now? The next pile, and uh, you can definitely have more ships. Uh, yeah. So why don't we take you all the way up to... Let's just take you up to the 100. Why not? We'll do this as well. You know, the crews are getting built. technology discovered. I should gain some more tech that is military oriented. Um, I mean, auxiliary fire control is okay. It gives me critical, a critical a chance to hit. CP and AI is very tempting. Let's get the detection array out of here, just to make sure. We'll grab this is where I can decide if I don't want adaptability, right? I can get rid of this. Can I get rid of this? I don't think I can actually anymore. All right, let's grab habitability plus 10. I think that makes my people pretty much habitable everywhere. I'll check on the species in a minute here. So I'll let a little bit of time go by. Fleets enhanced. Crown Prince is leveled up as well. Um... Technology, computing, or materials. Let's get computing. New technology discovered. There's orbital habitats, and there's the battleship. Well, let's grab battleship. I'm gonna start adding those in as well. Now, I did have notes here about how to make good battleships, but see about that. What does this Federation Association offer? I'm not afraid of this Federation. We are discovered. way stronger than they are. Uh, let's grab a physics insight here. Let's see, archaeological studies. Uh, let's get the ship build speed and ship upkeep reduction. It'll help quite a bit. Uh, this is all hooked up now, so let's make sure we are continuing to hook up. You're done here. I would like you to go here. So that hyper relay and you. That hyper relay is done. Excellent. So let's have you uh, build it here. And we'll get to these two systems and uh, this um, world. 
think I might take the stalwart one, the defensive one. Somebody left? I don't know. New technology discovered. We have another astral rift thing. We'll do the technology first. There's detection array. Assist cloaking detection. Phase disruptors, hyperlanes, or shields. Let's grab shields. That's done. Okay. Somebody needs a job. We'll get to that. All right, our response. We have extended a retrieval arm and gathered a sample of dark material from the wall. We were surprised to find that the sample maintained an indefinite height as we pulled it free to analyze it. Its properties have managed have much in common with an ink paint, although the components of the pigment are a type unknown. Some of the binding agents used in this ink are actually quite a unique form of dissolved crystals. As an experiment, we drew a line using a small amount of the sample and waited. Short time later, a nearly identical mark appeared parallel to it. We repeated this action several times, each with a different amount of the material, iterating through several different designs. Each time, the mark was reproduced exactly and in the same orientation. Given these results, we have a there is reason to believe that this is some sort of entity is making use of the material in an attempt to communicate. Accordingly, we have begun writing some basic phrases in binary using dots and dashes. These were copied exactly, but there was also something new. Next to each of our words appeared a pattern. Each time we drew the same phrase, the same pattern appeared. Is this a translation? Fascinating. We got a bunch of rare crystals. This reminds me of uh, the movie Arrival. If you haven't seen that movie, it's an amazing movie. It's a little older now, but it is an amazing movie. A really good uh, depiction of what alien is like. I think is a good way to describe that. Good, you're done. And you're done. Love it. The movie gets a little strange at the end. But, I mean, I think it works. It works. You're up and running. Uh, you were going to be... I could throw a detection in right there, but I don't really see any need for it. Now we're going to grab a couple of hangers here and the logistics site, and we're going to replace you with probably the resource silo. Construction online. Due to level up a little bit too. It's done. Perfect. That's done. Perfect. That's done. Perfect. All our fleets are leveling up. This is all done, right? Yeah. So you guys can start upgrading. We will do, of course. Our construction ships are done. That's done there. Amazing. This is all finished. Okay, I'm gonna have you sit in the capital. Might build some mega structures in a minute. This is done here. We will go up to here. I need uh, minerals, so we will just buy a bunch. Do that. Uh, you're done here. We will also extend that out to you. Somebody else has leveled up. Or one of our commanders has. Um, let's make them... Make them another Admiral. Fleets enhanced. Fleet upgrades applied. Perfect. <clears throat> A conversation. Many weeks have passed, and over that time we have learned to communicate in a stunted fashion with the entity, whom we have named the Writer. In exchange, 
has been difficult, but the writer's tone evokes curiosity and surprise. So, as not to clutter our immense area, it has become routine that each symbol painted by the writer are erased after each dialogue. Our conversation with the writer continued for some time until a final word appeared. Gift. Soon after, a golden sphere appeared next to our vessel. This object behaved much differently than a previous symbols and could be brought aboard. This was the last communication we received from the entity. Its component materials contained rich amounts of data that would take our scientists years to fully understand. So we got 10 years with a monthly physics research uh, at plus 10 and a bunch of astral threads and that ends the astral thingy that's fun so take you and bring you back technology uh, i'll stick you over here so i know where you are that we will be ready to go with the next one um let's do planes we'll do some tile blocker stuff too Uh, military Academy sounds good. Let's get that. Uh, we got two new stuff that we can do now. We can um, natural boost modifier for 15 years, giving us hyper jump charge time reduction and sublight speed increase. Very cool. Or we can do Astral Siphon. Uh, unlocks Astral Siphon planetary building. Astral Siphons increase the Astral Thread storage capacity and provides Astral Researcher jobs. Astral Researcher job can turn consumer goods into research and astral threads. I'll probably buy this next. Uh, maybe do one astral splitting and then do this. We can only do this four times. And we can only do this three times. We will do them both. We can boost and physics as many as we want, but every time we do it, if you notice the price has gone up, it started at 300. Now we're at 450 for each uh, bump we want to do. Cool stuff. Um. Yes, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. That's good. That's good. We do have an idle leader. We do have too many... Oops. Too many things? Oh well, I had lots of money anyhow. Um, continue on that. Upgraded. This construction ship doesn't really have anything to do. Can I build anything here? I can build orbital rings. That's right. As well as a major orbital. Let's build a major orbital in Absu. Uh, let's build it can you build it anywhere here doesn't look like it what if i go to here no if i go to this one you have a major orbital. I'm confused. Where can I build these? Must be built in orbit to a major planetary body. This. I don't understand. What else? Let's have you pop over here, and then I'll try and figure it out. I haven't played a lot with the new habitat mechanics. I did one where I started as a, um, on my own time, I started as a, uh, um, race that is, uh, Voidborn, but, uh, we did not, uh, too far. Can I build miner here? No. Confused. Can I build anywhere here? There. Why can't I build this? I'm gonna have to look at this up between episodes and figure out what's going on, but I don't understand why I can't build that. I could build a planetary ring, and I think I will around Abzu, though. 
Let's do that. Let's build um, orbital ring around Abzu. You lot are done. Cool. Let's build this there. You're done over there. I think you're just going to sit there for now. I think there's anything you need to do. Are you moving? No. But we'll leave you on that status in case we do get some territory that gets some stuff. Transmission. For now, we don't need that. Migration treaty? No, thank you. There's battleship. Perfect. Ooh, mechanical points would be fun. Armored torpedoes would be fun. Uh, let's get railgun. Did I make notes of a New battleship? Technology discovered. May or may not have here. I did not. All right, we'll have to design one on our own in a minute. Uh, what did we research? Shields. Good. Ammo lasers would be good, but they're a little expensive. Hmm. Proton launchers, maybe. Point defense. Construction online. We're just gonna get a few military techs under our belt, and then we'll design the battleship. We'll adjust our fleets to have some battleships, and then uh, we'll New go from there. New technology discovered. It's rail guns. Uh, Ripper auto cannons. Yes, please. We do have something to vote on. Is it currently being voted on? I support workers' rights. Yes, yes, I do. The workers in my thing are all assimilated mobs. Well, that reminds me. Let's check on PC. What are we doing here? Good. You should be pretty much gone. Can I set you. Can I assimilate you? All right, let's start assimilating the robots. Um, these guys are almost gone. I think I'm going to assimilate this group as well. Perfect. And maybe you? Sure. Let's just assimilate everybody. Sounds great. Into Super Bahamuti. These drop in real time because I think it would be hilarious to see if they do. Discovered. A whole bunch just disappeared. Available. Okay, well, a whole bunch of stuff is done. Let's do this. Fairy defense, excellent. Fairly cheap, looks fun. Phase disruptor, high on the list. Elite cloaking, I really like that idea too. Let's do the zero. No, uh, no, let's do elite cloaking. It's a rare, I want it. What's this? This is uh, Garrison's, cool. That'll increase my naval capacity, which is why I did it. Might do the army one. Yeah, army damage, army morale, let's get that done. Uh, you're done there. Okay, I would like you to go to Demon's Mob, please. Okay, let's start thinking about our battleships. Uh, fleet management, ship designer, we got a frigate here, which I'm never going to build, and the battleship. So let's build our own. I would like a hangar battleship with a little hangar on the front and large on the back. Uh, we will grab advanced strike craft because they're better than the flagella. We'll grab barrier defense and flat cannons. 
and we will grab things that go a long, long way. So your range is 100. Your range is 100. It's this is 80. I think we'll do some missiles here. And then here, I think we will do railgun. We'll do railguns. The auto cannon's range is only 40. Yeah. 100. That's 80 and 80, right? Yes. Perfect. Uh, the advanced suspension field does what? Gives me shield. Regen and some hardening. We will do one of those. We'll do two advanced shields and three plasteel armor. And then some afterburners sound lovely. Now you should be carrier. Sensors are at max, your thrusters are at max, your hyperdrive's at max, that's at max. Looks good. We'll call this Twilight's Beacon. Lovely. Then I might change you to Torx. Yeah. As I build out my... things. We need Torps and Afterburners and Auto Cannons. Uh, is there a G slot? There is. So if I do this, I don't have the torpedo tech yet. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll leave that. And when I get the torpedo tech, we'll start switching our cruisers over torpedo cruisers. And we'll have battleships be our hangar ships. Which sounds just super deep. Alright, so we need add a ship, battleship. I can just have one right now. It's fine. I might even be able to do another run. Yeah, so battleships count as how much? Eight. Cruisers are four, so it's every two. So if I wanted to get rid of four cruisers, I could have five, no. Four battleships, so that's eight cruisers. have a slot of two, right? Right now? I do. It's awkward. These are one to one, it doesn't quite work. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from you and eight from you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want you two to come together uh, here. Okay. So you're going to go down to 17. You're going to go up to 5. And silver, Suthet. Same thing. You're going down to 17. And we're adding the battleships, and you're going up to 5. Okay. You are just Corvettes, and you will continue to build more Corvettes. That's fine, if I can even hit the button now. One and the Warp Form. A Warp Form. You have a bunch of Destroyers and a Corvette, which I don't like, and then a Cruiser. Um, Let's add the battleship.
I think I'm just gonna disband the destroyers out of here. Yeah, I think you are all just gonna die. And more destroyers. Goodbye. Back to Warform's fleet here. I'll get rid of all the destroyers. And we'll just do this. And we'll do one more for it. Our cruiser. Perfect. Start working on that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buy a bunch of stuff here. So we're gonna go boom. And then we're gonna sell three of those. I'm gonna pack over here and go boom. Then we're gonna go over to here and sell two of those. And then we'll go back over here. Go boom boom. That should be a decent amount. So we'll get you going with some ships. Get you going. How many money? Okay. And then we'll have a, a fifth fleet in Abzu here. Oh yeah, and our minerals are also maxed out. Hold on to that. What can I do here? I can create another rift, so I think I will do that. Where is the rift created? Over here. Perfect. We'll grab our science ship and have them come over here and explore this one. Lovely. Let's check our uh, discoveries. I think I have enough for another Elgate in sight, so let's do that. Then we'll do reverse for some research speed, and then we'll do peaceful for a bad. And that looks good for now. Okay, we're at three Elgate insights now. Receiving transmission. Uh, I think I do have the ability to explore this wormhole. I think I have somebody just sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, why don't you come explore this wormhole for me, please? Let's we'll see where that goes. I might build a space station here. I think I will. New technology discovered. Build a nice big space station there. It's the uh, this Ripper auto cannons are amazing. Um, advanced afterburners sound very useful. Where's the battleship thing? Where's the Elgate in sight? Let's grab that. Oh, you've already you've done your thing. You've done your thing. Perfect. Get going from there. Good. Wormhole is done. Let's see where that goes. What is... We discovered another one? Uh, we just discovered a... Astral Scar. Okay. We'll have you come along with the one ship to do that. Not doing anything. Yeah, you're heading over there to do that. Perfect. Now, this goes where? This goes over here. Hi, the Gyrian Enterprises. Are you a threat to me? No. You are absolutely not. Would you... I would not do this because I need an embassy, so let's do that. And now, would you consider becoming my vassal? I need an embassy, that's right. You don't want to do an embassy, why? Guess we'll wait a minute and get that done. Okay. Everybody else here, uh, you're done. I don't really need this to go out anywhere else, so won't bother. Uh, which means I'm going to have you sit here. Let's think about what we want to do. Uh, you're just going to sit there, that's correct. Where are you at? You're done here. Uh, I'm going to put you on cloak. I'm going to have you explore. Investigate anomalies, research, you can do archaeological studies too. You can't do astral rifts though. Alert. 
Spaceborne life form encountered. Yeah, we'll build up our fleets here, and then uh, once that's done. We will, um... Oh, that reminds me, uh, you don't have a leader. I think I can put one in charge. Do I have one free? Commander, commander, commander. You're on gold, you're on silver, you're on transfer fleet, you're on bronze. I can have one more. Should hire one more commander. Who would be good? All regents okay. I like ship weapons range. Hostility or prudence? Let's do prudence. Then we will hire um, Prudence again. Adaptionist. Admiral. The command limit. Jerry Raker. Also start doing this to all the fleets. Okay, everybody's fleet power up. Construction online. And our master crafter is leveled up. Fleet influence, and uh, don't really need it. Code breaking would be cool. Let's do Shady Contacts. Still don't have that Ascension person, right? What are you doing? You're just sitting in the capital. You're just sitting over there. You're doing that. You're doing nothing at all. Everybody else is busy. Perfect. Where are my worlds? A whole bunch of worlds can level up. Let's do that. Housing. So let's do two housing here. Uh, let's get rid of some of your features. I think we'll leave it there. Uh, you need housing for sure. How many does this provide? Five? That's not going to be enough. Um. I think we'll transfer one of these to housing. Maybe this one will replace you with some precinct houses. No, with some luxury houses. Yes. And I think I'm going to replace you with a city district as well. Then you here, you don't need housing. And get rid of some of your features. Let's do that. Um, you are currently a mining world with the mining designation, which is great. You need some jobs. Let's get the identity repository here. And uh, maybe a military academy. Sounds good to me. Uh, you really need housing. 5, 10, 15 housing. Let's add one more just to be safe. While we're at it, let's add an industrial district. Uh, and do you have any features I need to get rid of? You absolutely do. 
No features. You have features that I can get rid of? No. Good. How are the rest of you doing? Fine, with no features. With power plants, excellent. I need to get the other, um... Factories that make uh, these min minerals, these rare resources, so I can build uh, rare crystals. Don't have, they haven't popped up in the tech for a little while. Here, okay, most of these are fine, I think. Six, you have one jaw. I wouldn't mind getting a few industrial districts here, so let's do that. You don't have any jobs. Let's definitely do some industrial districts here. You don't have any jobs. Let's do some industrial districts here. Really get that game up. You don't have any jobs either. So there's nothing I can do. And neither do you, but I can upgrade the embassy complex and I'll upgrade this as well. The admin complex. New technology discovered. On the capital. What did we get? Good. Assault army damage and army morale is up. Maybe the command center. Let's get the leader pool size. And we'll do our first thing. Endless rock. A vast plain of loose rock and gravel stretches before us. Above it hangs a pale, empty sky. No planets or stars can be seen here. And it does not appear to be um, part of a galaxy of or any known system. As far as our sensors can detect, this landscape continues indefinitely in all directions. The surface is pockmarked with holes as large as some asteroids. Across the horizons, dozens of massive worm-like creatures are bursting from the ground. Pairs of powerful fins allow them to glide through the dense atmosphere. They must have some kind of colony underground. This is more dangerous, which I think we'll do. Fleets enhanced. Worlds have been upgraded. Fleets are being upgraded. We have encountered another spaceborne life form. Iron Age. The unsophisticated hives are advancing sufficiently through the use of metallurgy to be considered an Iron Age civilization. The tools and weapons that they make uh, use of are becoming more effective and the complexity of their habitational clusters has become more elaborate. Several districts mines have now spread over most of the planet and some of their largest clusters are home to nearly a million drones. Fleet upgrades applied. Uh, let's grab five more. Where are you guys? Over here. I have five more armies here. Stick them in the army. New technology discovered. There's an Elgate Insight. Love it. Exotic gas refiners. This allows me to build gas. Exactly. The synthetic crystal plants. That's the one I was looking for. I'll help upgrade that particular aspect. Fleet upgrades applied. Empire, and I think we're getting pretty darn close to being able to just say, let's go, go, go. Yo, yo. Uh, I need more minerals. So we got one more battleship coming in. Finish off the bronze soufflet there. Need a few more. Ship upkeep. Oh well. The crew are clearing jungle in Nikash and has made a spectacular discovery. Deep in the forest, overgrown and obscured by lush plant life, is a colossal alien space station. Architecturally stunning and built with technology far superior to our own, it is a true work of art. The station appears to have crashed to the surface, surviving the impact thanks to unusual shielding capacities, which our scientists are now eager to examine. Regrettably, the archaeological excavation would prevent us from working the land until its completion. We'll excavate the site. Absolutely. Let's grab one of our science ships that doesn't have anything to do. You're doing a thing. You're doing a thing. Where are you? You're out here, zoop zooping around. Okay. I have a spare scientist. Yeah, my head of research. 
doesn't have a job, can go over here and investigate that site. We have encountered another spaceborne life form. New technology discovered. There's a synthetic crystal plants. Uh, armored torpedoes sounds good, although I'm having a city housing problem, so let's do that first. Alert. Spaceborne life form encountered. Uh, shipbreaker or carrier focus. Let's do carrier focus. Destiny. Records aboard the station revealed that former inhabitants were deeply religious and had no contact with the outside world, which they feared and despised. Every aspect of their lives was governed by an omnificent oracle who scried their destinies at birth. Divine will decided everything from their choice of partner and occupation to the minutia of their daily lives, leaving them with little individual freedom. Most were afraid to diverge from their destined past, as all who did perished under mysterious circumstances. Curious. Curious indeed. Okay, well on that note, let's take that to the end of the episode. In the next episode, once we've leveled up a few of our fleets, we'll probably go deal with this Eldritch Horror. And after that, um, we'll probably go to war with this coalition up here. Claim some territory, maybe make this person a vassal, work our way through um, this federation to gobble up our some space in the other direction. I don't want to get too, too big. I like our size right now. Um, I think we could get a little, a little bigger. I should remember that the planetary... Uh, Orbital ring is done. It doesn't show up. Uh, something I can click right here. I gotta go over here and do that. So I'll work on that as well. Um, apparently, you need housing. Let's do that quick before I forget. So do you, actually. Anybody else need housing? Are we good? We're good. Okay. So the next episode, we'll do that. And between episodes, I'll try and look up how to do the habitats again. Remind myself how to do it. I get. I don't know why I wasn't allowing me to build a habitat in any of the systems I looked at. It looked at like five systems. That doesn't make sense that we can't build a habitat in any of them, right? So I'm missing, I'm clearly I'm missing something. So I'm just gonna look it up and uh, we'll figure it out next episode. So hope to see you then. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>